Hi guys, thanks so much for joining me today. So today I have a wig review for you. And I have been requested many times over the last few weeks to do more synthetic wig reviews. So I, I'm happy to do it for you. So this wig is called Giselle. And before I go into talking about Giselle, I just wanted to thank you all so much for joining me today for watching my video I want to welcome all my new subscribers and my old subscribers thank you so much for joining me and thanks so much for supporting my channel I do appreciate it okay so like I said this wig is called Giselle and she is by Sensational this is the Empress Lace Wig Natural Lace Front and that's what it says I don't know if you can see it I'll get it in as much as I can I'll read the information to you guys and it says this is curling iron safe from 350 to 400 degrees. That's really hot. Um, and it says here this color is a number one. So and the number one is a black. It says features the latest color trend in highlights. This wig it doesn't have any highlights at all. So I, I think that's for the other wigs that have a blend of two different colors. And it says that it has a natural hairline. You can wear it in a ponytail and you can wear it in updo styles. And it has baby hairs all around the wig so it will help you to get a more natural look when you wear it in an updo. Especially if you lay your baby hairs down and brush them around the edge of the lace and the edge of the wig. Okay, so now let me just tell you a little bit about Giselle. I'm going to show you all her specs in a minute. But let me just show you or tell you a little bit about, about it. I did find this had minimal shedding, not a lot at all. As a matter of fact, when I used the brush to comb it out, I didn't get a lot of shedding. There were some hairs in the brush, yes, but not a lot to speak of. And right now, I see maybe like one or two. And this wig doesn't, in my opinion, doesn't shed a lot, not at all. But what I do think, the longer you wear this wig, it might get tangled in the back. And so you can always use a brush, especially a brush like this, guys. These brushes, these, this is the, what do they call this? This is the natural hair detangling brush or the detangler. But I find that this brush works really well on wigs, whether they're synthetic or human hair. It just work really, really well. And the curls do not drop at all from brushing or combing. She has a lot of natural um, body. And this is a body wave style. And I think this may be about 18 inches, guys. 18 inches. So let me show you the back. That's the back. Really nice. I think to eliminate a lot of tangling or any tangling that might occur with this wig, I do recommend that maybe you just divide it down the center and just bring it forward so that it can lay over the front part of your shoulders. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you the specs on this wig. I'm going to put it on for you. I'm going to show you how I um, make my uh, lace look more natural. Get, get that natural part. I'm going to show you how I'm camouflaging my lace a little bit. All the details that make wig wearing really, really important. Okay, so here's the wig. It is the Sensational Empress Lace Wig. It says it has a natural lace front and it is 100% premium fibers. And that just simply means that this is a synthetic wig. So I'm going to take it out the package. And this is how they come packaged really nicely. Basically to protect them from um, the roughness of the shipping. You know, when it gets shipped, they get tossed around the post office and wherever. And this is the way it comes with a hairnet. And again, I'm just going to just go through everything that you get on the wig or with the wig. Um, again, because you know, some a lot of my viewers are watching for the first time and um, they want to see all everything. So hairnet to keep the wig nice and neat to keep the style in place. And then it comes with foam padding and some extra stuff to keep the wig in shape. I want to show you the inside of the cap. And this is basically, let me turn it inside out really quickly. This is basically a wefted design cap. 
these are the wefts and it has four combs it has one in the base right here and in the front we have three combs in the front two on the side that sort of hit near the temple area and then one for the center part of your head I tend not to use the center part because I wear my wig caps but I do use the side combs also too this wig has adjustable straps in the back so you can make this wig tighter especially if you if it's a little too big for your head you can adjust the tightness of it and that's easy to do and so now I'm going to um, remove the lace and get back to you as soon as the lace has been removed the lace has been removed so I'm going to put this wig on and first before I do that I'm just going to run my fingers through it just to remove any shedding and a lot of times there are a lot of loose hair trapped in these wigs but a lot of times the loose hair is not from a bad construction of the wig it's basically hairs that have been trapped under the wig or inside the wig after it was trimmed or cut laser cut and styled so oftentimes if you think a wig is shedding it's only because there are a lot of trapped hairs still up inside there and I just got a few hairs out not I mean I don't even think that's three so I'm going to put that right there and now I'm going to put the wig on. Make sure you have on your wig cap. So I have mine on a flesh colored wig cap. And guys if you don't already know I have a video up on how to make your own wig caps especially if you hate the ones from the beauty supply store or the drugstore that just simply do not fit. And those little tiny wig caps just don't fit and they don't fit my head. So I started making my own wig caps and I have a video posted on that I'll leave that video link in this video also and so you can go check it out after you um, finish watching this one go check out how to make your own wig caps easy breezy and it doesn't even cost hardly anything okay guys so I'm going to put this wig on I just want to make sure that the combs are at the temple area where they belong, just at this area around my ear. And I'm going to pull this for wig forward. And I have a lot of my own natural hair braided under this wig, guys. So I'm feeling like this wig is a little bit snug on my head. But if you have an average size head and you don't have a lot of natural hair, then this will be great. So I'm just pushing back my wig cap a little bit so that I can get my comb in. And I got my comb in. We would do the back. And that just slips in there really nicely. But it's not too, doesn't feel too tight. So you want to make sure that you get the wig at your hairline. And if you need to you can just move it back just a little bit. I'm going to show you what the parting space looks like. So it has like a quarter of an inch parting space, not not much. Oh yeah, just a quarter of an inch guys, not a lot. So if you can see the parting space, really small, not a lot to speak of. So I'm just going to part it and kind of toss that over because I like hair over my face. It's pretty. It really is pretty. So now I'm going to show you how I would work the hairline a little bit because I wouldn't leave it like this. I would just bring out a little bit of my own natural hair just to kind of camouflage that lace a little bit. I'm going in. I'm going to just go in and just pull a little bit of the wig hairs out. The natural baby hairs that are in the wig. And I'm going to kind of blend those out and then my own natural baby hairs also. I'm going to blend mine out just to give it a more natural look. You can use a small comb or you can use a brush to do this. You can use a, a toothbrush. Especially if your wig has baby hairs, it I mean it really just does 
work really well just to blend them down. A lot of people don't like baby hairs. I think they really work in camouflaging the edge of your lace. And it definitely does work on uh, human hair lace wigs too. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of pomade. And the one I'm going to be using is Care Care. And it's called, it's called Edge Tamer. And so I'm just going to take just a little bit of this on my finger. And I'm going to just hold down my edges just a little bit. With this, you don't really need a lot. You just want to use just enough just to kind of make your natural hair just kind of lay really nicely or just lay down a little bit. It looks nice. looks natural. Okay, so now with the part, in order to, I think, make the part look natural, I am going to lighten it a little bit. In the past, I used to use concealers and liquid foundations and things like that. I don't do that anymore. I like to use a foundation powder or my setting powder, which is in my natural color. And the one I'm using is called Derma Blend. And this color is called Sapphire. And this Sapphire. This color is called Saffron, Warm Saffron. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of that powder that's in the top. I'm going to show you how I just lighten the lace just enough to give the hairline a little bit more of a realistic look. So I'm looking at my mirror that's behind the camera guys so bear with me. I think powders work better. They're not so you know opaque and also, they don't have illuminators in them like foundations do or like concealers do, which would give it that really light, unnatural look. Powders are mostly matte, and so they won't look really shiny, and it won't look, you know, just really light and unnatural. Because the point is, when we do that, is to make it look natural. So I'm going to pick up a little bit more powder, just like that on my brush. And I kind of just like kind of blend it, smash it in a little bit so I can pick up a lot of powder. And tap it off, or you can shake it off. I shook it off the first time, and I'm going to go back in. And I'm going to add a little bit more. And I'm going to bring a little bit of that powder down to my own natural hairline, just a little bit. Just dabbing, and blending out in case any of that powder got on the hair. Really nice. Looks natural. This is a nice wig if you wanted a, a quick style. I would definitely wear a wig like this to work. I would wear this out with my uh, friends. I definitely, definitely would wear it if I was going to a party. So that's it. That's Giselle for you. Uh, guys, thanks so much for joining me, guys. I appreciate it. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.